This is a video demonstration of the Specnor MiniWave. This is the control function right here. You can see it's set at 480 and it's loosely holding 480. This is the timer right here for how long you want your solder to flow through its nozzle. And this controls your pump speed. that box around. I, I just want to show what kind of solder. Just bring it over. Uh, this is the preheating unit right here. <clears throat> you can see we have a board with a thermocouple attached. These set points are at 250 degrees to heat it. An alarm will sound once we pull that board in there um, at 75. You can see the little number down there is set at 75. The current thermocouple temperature is at 48. Once we throw that in the underneath that uh, uh, preheat, it'll heat up fast and we'll show you that as well. This is the solder that we've used in the pot. So we're going to put this board in the preheat. Again, this is the set. Um, it's currently at 40 C, uh, and, but the uh, alarm will sound at 75. So let's uh, put that in there. You can see the board being up here underneath. The alarm will sound at 75. There you go. Again, thermocouple attached. And now that we've brought that board out, you can see that the uh, thermocouple is cooling. All right. Now we also wanted to see the pump. Just showing that the board is over the, the solder pot right now. Um, we have it set at a 20 second interval that is programmable. Um, what we can do is um, hit the foot switch, which is right here, and you can see that the solder is flowing. And this will go for 20 seconds. set that back down to uh, to 10 seconds here and let's hit that again and we'll go for 10 seconds
Anything else? That's it. Unit is in really good condition. Fully functional. I did talk to the previous owner and indeed they were using lead free solder and we'll take our solder and have this pot very clean. Additional good news is that the table will go with this. This table is designed for this system setup. And that concludes this demonstration.